Um, I'm getting a little more structured than I used to be. This, the Rose and Swags is a much more structured play. The other ones are all episodic plays. And I, I really tried in this case to write an, a structured play, and it was really hard. This was, th that play was the hardest play that I've written. And it doesn't seem that hard. The Heidi Chronicles seems much harder to do because of the sweep and the history. But it's all small. It's all vignettes. This thing, just getting them on and off the stage was hard. Well, goodbye. I have to make a phone call now. <laughs> it makes you think how difficult that all is to do. Um, so, But I don't. I know people who do. I usually tend to write with character in mind and just let those characters start talking. I do know where the play is gonna go. I do know like with the Rosenswags, I want it to go to some woman turning to a man and saying, I love you. Uh, and uh, with Heidi, I wanted a woman to get up at a woman's meeting and say, I've never been so unhappy. And the, isn't it romantic? The first time I wrote it didn't work because I didn't know where it was going. And then I realized it was going to this girl dancing alone. And. Uh, and in Uncommon Women, it was those girls saying, when we're 30, we'll be amazing. When we're 40, we'll be amazing. But I've never had a real innate sense of structure. Uh, it's, I find it very difficult. Uh, but I have great admiration for it. I was once on this evaluation committee to evaluate the Yale School of Drama. And all these kids were saying, we're interested. These directors were talking to me about exploding text. And I kept thinking about you know, Ibsen and Strindberg exploding over the Yale School of Drama, saying, boom, there goes Miss Julie, boom, there goes the seagull. And I actually thought, I can't explode the text until I'm able to tell the text. Tell, I'm very interested in being able to tell a story. And then I figure, then you can refract it. But until I can do it, I can't break it up. And I remember the day I finished, it took me nine months to write the Sisters Rosenzweig. The day I finished, I called Chris Durag and I said, you know, this was a hell of a lot of effort just to prove to myself what a good playwright checkoff is. You know, I didn't need to do this. I could have just, I knew this already. I didn't have to write for nine months just to realize how talented this man is. <laughs> so, um, but I wish, I'm very interested in structure. I mean, I think sometimes like when movie writing, you know, there are all those classes about how to structure a movie and all about how in the 10th, it divides into three acts and on the 10th page, the subsidiary character comes in and, you know, in that way you can also kill an individual voice and everything falls into a pattern and you can teach computers how to write. And I think that that's really dangerous because the voice should somehow dictate the form.